Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Michael Sulo, teacher, lecturer, and fine artist. And I'd like to take you briefly through the techniques of European style painting as executed by the uh, great masters of the Renaissance. This is a painting that I copied from Titian. Titian lived and worked in Venice during the Renaissance and was considered the finest colorist working on canvas, where most artists at that time were working on wood. And it is, as you can see, very beautiful, very glowing uh, thickness to it. How did he get that? How did he come up with that? And of course, that's the European style of painting. Now, in the European style of painting, it goes through several stages. It goes through the drawing stage. In the drawing stage, the artist gets all the proportionality correct, he gets the perspective correct, and all those mechanical parts completed. Then from the drawing, he goes into a monochrome painting, and a monochrome painting is done either in brown, in gray, or in green and he completes the entire painting in monochrome. Then he lets that dry several days, it's gotta be completely dry, and then on top of that he adds color. Once again, he's able to control color by putting on what's called the velatura. The velatura is a thin uh, layer of colored paint over the monochrome painting, and you see through the velatura and you see underneath the monochrome painting. Once that's completed, again, dries out for several days, maybe several weeks till it's completely done, completely dry, and then on top of that, you do um, glazes. And the glazes are even thinner than velatura, but they tie the picture together. And many artists, do several, many different glazes over and over on the painting to give it depth. There's a story about uh, Da Vinci, when Da Vinci at the end of his life was traveling, one of his friends from Italy came to visit him and he had, Da Vinci had several paintings that he had carried with him through his life. And he was working on one of these paintings. And his friend who was also an artist said, Leonardo, how many times did you glaze this? And he said, I don't know, 40? That painting was the Mona Lisa. This system is as opposed to what's called alla prima, and alla prima in Italian means everything at once. So you have to get everything completed and correct the first time. Whereas the European painting style you have many chances, many opportunities to make it the best it could possibly be. This is the first step in doing a European painting. As you can see, I'm drawing on the canvas Titian drew on his canvas rather than drawing a separate uh, paper drawing and then transferring that onto his canvas. So here I am drawing on the canvas using my first painting as the sitter. My drawing underneath, as you can see, is completed and I let it dry for several days and I'm just beginning now to do my underpainting here and here and I'm going to do it in gray. The underpainting in gray, as you can see, has been completed and has dried for nearly two weeks. So it's absolutely dry and it cannot be removed by overpainting. Now, 
As you see here, if you can just see now, I have put on some Velatura in the flesh tones. Very soft color over a gray background. And if you look in her flesh tones here, they're no longer gray. The gray comes through, but they're just a very soft beginnings of color. Now I am a little further down the road with the Velaturas, and as you can see, I've added some umbers and siennas in the hair, and uh, some blues and greens that's gonna create the whiteness of this blouse. And I started on a verde, a green background, because in the end, I wanted that background to be very dark and very warm. At this stage, I am adding velaturas, uh, sometimes in several spots, for instance, the flesh, several velaturas. I want to get that nice depth of feel. I want to be able to bury some veins underneath the skin. Those things that make it magnificent, that make it beautiful, that will make it museum quality painting. My painting is now dried for several days and now I'm adding Actually, this is the third session that I'm adding glazes, and I'm trying to tie the colors together, soften things up, soften her flesh, um, darken down the background as I had expected from the beginning, and I will glaze this several more times, probably a total of five or six times, with it drying in between and for a good long time perhaps three, four days, maybe a week in each session. So in total, it takes several weeks and probably months to complete one panel as you see it here. <laughs> 